No one should live like that. And For her safety, we cannot disclose Ntabi Seng Dekhale's location. She fears for her life. On the road to recovery, she recalls the attack that landed her in hospital. A lot was going on. I was like worried about my kids and thinking, why did I wait this long? I'm going to be one of the women that, you know, have been murdered by their partners and I had a chance to speak and I did not and you know I've got girls who have seen this and they're gonna have to think it's okay for them to live this kind of life and it a lot just went I like I felt I would blame myself for not leaving earlier you know for saying why and yeah at the time, Ntambi Singh had a protection order against him. She says she was shocked to learn he had been granted bail just hours after attempting to murder her. The fact that he was granted bail, I was obviously not conscious at that time, I didn't know. But when I heard the news that he was granted bail, I was not surprised. Like, I feel we are not heard, we're not listened, the police are not... I've gone with the police to my house several times, you know, to, to seek help. And when they get there, they tell him she's here to get whatever she needs to get. And, you know, and he would tell them, no, she's not getting anything. And the police would literally say, you know what, we're not going inter to interrupt. This is between you two, you guys are married, to talk about it. And they would leave me there with him. Ntabi Singh says she hopes the justice system will now keep her safe. You're not going to change anyone if just leave, you know, people will talk, but you'll, you'll still be alive. It doesn't matter. You, you failed, you, you married, but you failed. But at least now I, I have my kids. I was fortunate enough. Now I've got my girls and I'm going to be able to tell them the story and they will know that it isn't right to be treated that way mom allowed it to a certain extent she almost died and no one should live like that no one should live like that chris alder lewis sabc news in johannesburg